And for 20 years, she didn't even have a name. Were it not for the collaboration of Detective Robert Warner and professional psychic Lawrence Hiddell, the chances are Margie would have faded into history as an unidentified victim. The combination of psychic intervention and solid conventional police work produced a prime suspect. In an attempt to get Pete's last name, Warner phoned Joe Dresden, ex-boyfriend of Margie's. And he said that he didn't know the name, but he knew that Pete had filed a complaint against him one time, and that the police may have it on record and they'll find it from way back then. So at that time, I contacted uh, New York PD, gave them the information that I had, and they were able to come up with a report and fax it to me in a couple of days, and I came back with Peter Williams. Warner used Williams' social security number to track the fugitive. He discovered Williams was drawing welfare checks in Milwaukee, and he had been a truck driver, just as Lauren had predicted. One of his main routes had been booked into Wisconsin, which would have taken him past the Great Lakes. Once again, Lauren's suspicions proved to be uncannily accurate. With Lauren's help, Warner has gotten this far. He has a name, Peter Williams, and a face. But has he got the hard evidence needed to convict the man who believes murdered Margie Castiano? When I first met Pete and I walked up to him, I advised him who I was and the reason why I went to talk to him and the blood drain from his face. You could see him just literally turn white. He said the last time he saw her, he took her to a methadone clinic. She got out of the car and that was the last he saw her. And he said he washed his hands of her. And those words, he said I washed my hands and made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Warner needed more than suspicion to nail him. Felt like he had that licked because he 